This is me over a year ago, skinny, unmotivated, not confident, and making the same mistake over and over again. And ask myself, how do I actually build muscle? I'm not gonna waste your time here. Here's how to build a lot of muscle if you're a teenager. So step one, train it. Growing up, I was always the skinny lad. Tall, weak, skinny. Like when I first started, I couldn't even curl the fucking 3kg dumbbells. Like that's how bad I was. I lacked energy, confidence, self-esteem, and I would just play football for hours on end while eating no food at all. Now, ultimately, this was a shitload of cardio. Looking back, I don't even know how I had the energy to do all this shit. So this is what a typical day would look like. I'd wake up, eat a small bowl of porridge, get my bike, Cycle 20 kilometers to play football. Okay, so cycle 20 kilometers, get to the pitch, play football for four hours, cycle 20 kilometers back. I mean, that's all good. My cardio was insane. I could last probably three football matches in a row, but I was skinny as shit and lacked literally fuck all energy as well. And I had no strength whatsoever. And then one day I got fed up with how I looked and I started working out. I only started off with like some equipment I bought on Amazon and then progressively moved into the gym. Now, I'm not saying I'm the biggest lad. There's loads of bigger other lads out there, but I'm happy with the progress I made. So I wanna share some tips that will help you as well. So how do you train as a skinny teenager? So the first thing is I get a good training split. Now for beginners or skinny lads, I always say this, upper lower split is the best. You'll learn the basics, all the fundamentals and you know how to train legs as well it's actually lashing out there and when you get this split you want to track it whether that be on your phone piece of paper whatever do two good apps will be strong lifts and heavy you can literally just track all your workouts in there and it's easy because you're just gonna bring your phone to the gym anyway if you track your workout you're gonna be hitting more this session than you did last session even if it's by 0.1 percent if you do 0.1 percent every day for a year that's around 36.5 percent for the whole year that's, that's actually pretty good and that's only 0.1% imagine doing more percent you'll make unbelievable progress in the gym now you want to be doing more and more where that be in reps sets weight less rest time than you did last week this is basically called progressive overload and it's what makes your muscles grow your muscles have to adapt to the extra stimulus you're giving them and therefore they're just going to grow now i know what you're going to say oh but i want to do more days in the gym now, it's tempting to do more days in the gym. I was at that point. I used to do six days a week when I first started. And I just feel like shit. My muscles weren't even sore. My fucking bones were sore. I was that skinny. And ultimately, I actually wasn't making progress. I was going down, not up. So yeah, okay, it's gonna be tempting, but I would stick to four days a week for around three to four months, just to know the basics, learn the basic principles, and then you can add more days. You can go five days, definitely go five days after four months. Five days is what working for me and has been for the past year what i'm doing is push pull legs rest upper lower rest now that's what's working for me i used to hit upper lower and that basically taught me how to do everything else and that way i would not stagnate in any progress whatsoever and also when you're training this is probably the most important thing you want to be focusing on the form rather than the weight you might be able to push 100 kilos on the bench press but if you're fucking like halfway off the bench like flying up in the air there is no fucking point of that to actually build muscle, you wanna have good form and just get a better pump and like concentrate on your training. Because if you're just hitting out numbers, 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 if you're not focused on the fucking form, then you're not gonna be building muscle. That, that's that. Unless if you're training for strength, then go whatever. Once you're training hard in the gym, that's perfect. So on to the next thing, which is diet. Back in 2021, a typical day of eating would be, I'd wake up, have a small bowl of porridge, and then three to four hours later, have a banana. And that was it. I would feel like shit, I would look like shit, and uh, let's just say I didn't make much progress in the gym. As well as eating the fucking diet of a newborn child, I would do a shitload of cardio. And that would just ultimately make me so fucking skinny. Now, I didn't know what to eat, when to eat, what should I eat. I was clueless at the stage. I had no fucking idea what I should be eating. And most of the fucking fitness influencers are shit when it comes to this. They'd be like fucking cut your calories, main gaining, and there's just fucking wide misconceptions on the internet. So I'm gonna keep it simple, okay? When you're a teenager, there's one thing you should be doing and one thing only, and that's bulking. If you're cutting when you're fucking below 18, not only are you gonna lose more muscle, you're gonna fucking stunt your growth and you're gonna fuck up your life completely. Now I know that because I bulking came from that point. Now what do I mean by bulking? Now bulking is literally just the concept of eating more food than your body burns, so you put on a shitload of muscle. This puts on a lot of muscle and you'll just feel better and you'll look bigger as well. How should you bulk? So the first thing I'll do is look up TDEE. Now this is just to calculate your maintenance calories. Basically your maintenance calories is the amount of food you should be eating to maintain your weight. So you're gonna go into that website, pull in your details, so age, weight, height, activity level, and it'll split all your maintenance calories. So let's say it's 3,000. 3,000, if you eat 3,000, you're gonna stay the same weight. So we wanna be eating more than that 
to put on weight and to put on muscle. Because basically, if you're giving your body more energy, this energy will be used to actually put on extra muscle and do proper work in your body. Let's say your maintenance comes out with 3,000. You're going to be adding 500 on stats straight away. So 3,500. Now you're going to be eating that for a week. And if you're not gaining weight, you're going to add another 100 calories and then weigh yourself for another week. If you're still not gaining any weight, add another 100, add another 100, add another 100 until you actually start gaining weight. And that's the equation if you're plateauing any time. So if you're a plateau, just add more food and you're actually start gaining weight. Now, sometimes it's hard to eat all that food because I know I'm on 4,500 calories. I struggle sometimes to eat. So some things that have helped me, calorie dense foods. Calorie dense foods are basically foods with a small amount of volume, but a lot of calories. It's like peanut butter. Like you can have a tablespoon of peanut butter and that's like what, 120 calories? And that shit adds up. If you keep having peanut butter after peanut butter, that'll add up. And you know, it'll add up your calories and you'll actually start putting on weight. After a tablespoon of peanut butter, you're not gonna be full, okay? So you can have as much as that as you want. And also another thing, eat more fat. Fat builds all your hormones, including testosterone, which you know you need to fucking build muscle. Now, when it comes to protein, protein is the building blocks of your muscles. You're gonna eat protein, you'll start building muscle. I'm not gonna go into any fucking chemical shit here. Protein is basically the building blocks for your muscle. So, eating more, you'll gain more muscle. Now, there's scientific evidence, but one gram of protein per pound of body weight has shown that it builds the most muscle. So, just be eating that. So, if you're 180 pounds, eat 180 grams of protein. Now, sources of protein include meat, fish, chicken, eggs, and if you're struggling, you can have like protein bars and protein shakes. There's no problem. There is no evidence that these are bad for you or anything. They're not going to stunt your growth or fuck it, shrink your balls or something. They're just protein in powder form. Like they're not going to kill you. So once you have training, your diet, and this last thing that I'm going to tell you, the muscles should be a breeze when you're a teenager. So the last thing is sleep. Right, sleep is probably the most neglected factor. Sleep is so important. People don't understand the importance of this shit. When you sleep, you're building up your hormones. You, that's when your muscle is building. A lot of people don't take the time to actually sleep good, you know? And if your sleep is really good, then there's no doubt you're gonna be building muscle. Even if you're not going to the gym or anything. If you sleep low, you're gonna start building muscle. You should be sleeping eight to 10 hours per night. This way you're giving your body enough rest. That way you'll have more energy so you can hit the gym better. Just be happier and you actually start building a shitload of muscle. And if you really wanna sleep well and gain a shitload of muscle, you can buy one of these aura rings online. I know they're really expensive. But if you're struggling with that, that's a thing you can buy. And supplement wise, I only use four supplements, that being vitamin D, creatine, pre-workout, and protein powder. Others are just unnecessary. Most of them are scams like BCAAs. Just don't go into that shit. These four are basically all you need. And that's basically it. If you want to learn more about Vulcan, I have a video on my left or my right. I can't really tell where it'll be. And remember, work hard and get hard.